morning the new summer here in south yorkshire it's very wet um and we could do with the sunshine but this is what we've got so we'll get on with it um stay tuned see what we get up to if you like this stuff remember to press like and subscribe yeah it's definitely a welly day and he's back he's on the straw blower we better get on the tm and start feeding round. i think morning andy yeah you good day in devon all right blinded by the lights we'll jump on the tm oh, it's so dark that my light's coming on on my phone this shouldn't be happening in summer the point across i'm disappointed with the weather And he's getting on, putting that half bale out that's in there. But this, the partridge have even come into the shed because it's that wet. They're trying to keep dry. But we'll be using plenty of straw today anyway. Just go up on here. I don't think Andy's strawed these yet, but we'll get them fed. look fairly clean anyway but we uh we like to straw them every day oh see that I'm slipping getting up here it's that wet loss of traction really need to get this uh, watson feed trough in at some point we just need to cut some stuff down and work out which bay it's actually going to go in everywhere is fed now drop the bucket pipes off if I'm not blinded by the lights um, and we'll put the spreader bale on we've got that bottom shed to do um, with the straw oh this is the spreader bale that we got on the front uh, it's not actually built for this size bale they do do a bigger one but it does still this one still works so um, yeah I mean it piles it out which you'll see in a minute so this is the spreader bale it's got two rotors on the front. They're a bit like muck spreader rotors. And it just rips the bale to pieces. And it's a fairly good machine. We like it. It's great for this shed. We could put it on this uh, JCB and it fits in nice. No worrying about backing round corners. Um, backing them into cattle or anything like that um, it does the job nice and easy good visibility and since we've had them new bearings in it it's like a new machine it used to get blocked up and bogged down but um, I think that was mainly because oh, I said that I think it's just done it now um, that's mainly because the bearings were uh, were shot in the uh, rotors at the front, but very simple to to fix. Um, yeah, simple to use, I suppose. Just fold them backwards on the uh, on the hydraulics on the joystick. That's forwards, chucks it out. Backwards, lifts it up. Alters the direction of the rotors. I think uh, my glamorous assistant has. Uh, let a cow go, yeah. The escape on you. I think he's a bit excited, is the lad. I've jumped in the daft because we've got to take this now to have its um, taco calibrated. So we're on with that job. I'm here at Sheffield Tachograph and Tail Lift Services. Get this tachograph done. So we'll leave it parked up there and they'll get that all set up. We're going to be five minutes. I've been stood on this tree for 25 minutes waiting. It's wet. I'm not happy. It has been sh We're going to do some milling basically with this, but the 130 is just thinking all the time. It's loading. So we've just turned it off for an extended period of time. We're probably going to have to disconnect the battery to see if that resets it. But 
normally it wouldn't be an issue but because we want to use the mill it needs to activate the screen and um, be able to use a remote PTO so otherwise the PTO just goes off now let's see how we get on anyway we need to we need to move out of this mill's position because in this way it'd be doing it there and then you have to keep pushing it up whereas if we just back it into the corner we can just keep moving forward with the elevator as it's supposed to be used so we will have to disconnect the battery by the looks of it and then if that doesn't work um we'll have to put a, a weight on the seat and see what john deere got to say I'm, I'm, i think it'll just reset it when we disconnect the battery to be honest can't get on to the battery terminal so we're having to take the whole step off to sort this what a pain steps off now and hopefully we can get into this but there's that many wires going to each terminal obviously somebody's put them on so we should be able to get them off but it's not easy quite disconnected now but we're just going to blow the top of the battery off because it's got some straw in it i don't want to start setting fire to stuff um, if i spark it and put it back on so that's a simple on and off connor's just going to turn it on now see if we get a screen back on Started for us and then back they had to put all new ECUs when they did the joystick, so whether it's something to do with that, so we have been getting odd error code on it. Well, I'll give it to Ripon Farm Services. I've just rung them and they're getting somebody out this afternoon. Um, I think we may crack on with the milling anyway, because it might be later this afternoon. We'll just have to put a weight on the seat to trick the tractor into thinking that somebody sat in there so that we can actually use the PTO because the safety mechanisms of the PTO, if there's not somebody in the seat, you need to select somebody on the screen. <laughs> People will all be saying, buy an old tractor and just use that for your milling and your, your, your bits and bobs. But yeah, um, yeah, I'm sure it'll be nothing. You just need a, a laptop to plug into it and that's a bit of a pain. Um, but that's how things are with these modern tractors. Anyway, we'll uh, put this. Well, no, I'll leave them steps off actually. Well, straight after I'd rung them and turned the tractor back on, with uh, back up to speed and it's working. Uh, <laughs> there was a code though, so I have given them the code, and we're just going to play it by ear and see how uh, see how we get on. So it's running. Right, so that is me done at Sheffield Tigercraft Services. We'll get to get back off home. Back in the yard now. Um, I'm going to have some dinner, I think, and then a little bit later I've got to go and pick some cattle up again. So out and about in the, in the lorry a bit today. Me and Andy are just doing some cow's feet now. Come on, stubborn. Cleaning the muck off the feet and then we're going to spray them with some copper sulfur. Here we go. This one's just walking a bit funny on his front feet. Hopefully that'll sort him out. Big Mick rang me last night and he's dropped the revelation. He don't want to be in our videos anymore. So he's got another YouTuber that he's going to be in. Alright. Yeah? Must be pretty good to be dropping us. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So who do you think is he's leaving? Is well, he's not leaving, but like he's moonlighting with another YouTuber. <laughs> who do you think it is? He's going to be in one of their videos. So let us know in the description below, and then um, tomorrow maybe I'll let you know, and then um, yeah, you'll be able to check it out. See who spots him. See who spots him. Yeah. yeah. Found out that Andy's found out about his family tree, and you're not actually from Devon. I am from Devon. <laughs> Andy is from Devon. But where, where, where did great? What was it like? Great, uh, great, 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 great granddad was from Cornwall. Yeah. But then we, he wasn't from Cornwall. We rivalry there, Cornwall and Devon. He, um, yeah, he was from Scotland, and uh, yeah, moved to Cornwall. So yeah, he moved a long way like, back in then. That's days, where I get my travel, you know. Yeah. <laughs> You've not gone that? Oh no, you did. You went to Edinburgh, yeah, aren't you? Went up to Scotland, yeah. You yeah. Went to Edinburgh. I might have to find out where they come from in Scotland. Go even further. Yeah. 
see. There we go. Is your surname Baker? Are you related to Andy? <laughs> So we're just having a look around these guys now, see if there's any others that have got a bit of a limp or anything. Oh, pretty chilled, laid down, I like that. Going up. Good lad. Having a nice stretch, that's what we like to see. Oh, letting one off as well, go on. Get that methane out. Everything is very dusty in here. I'm tidying this up and we just found some wine bottles and stuff in the straw. So, Andy, do you want to tell us now? No, not me. <laughs> I think I've up. got an idea not what it might have been. <laughs> um, I'm guessing it's the guys that did the, the, the building, but why they didn't just put it in the bin, I don't know. So I can't see some kids coming up there. And we'd have heard them. Me and Andy have done um, treating feet. We've just been looking at different places we could put that Watson's trough maybe and then getting confused and thinking where is actually the best place to put it. Um, we've got some ideas, but um, I think we'll have to do some mucking out first before we start thinking about putting it in. So, um, but yeah, thank you very much to Watson's for sending us that. It's, uh, it's very nice and we just need to find the right place to put it and uh, make some good use out of it. If not, we'll put it in the field. We can feed out some hay in it. All right, I'm leaving Andy to it in there, if you can see him. <laughs> I'm off in the daft to uh, pick some cattle up. Over at Glossop, that's where I was the other day um, when I was like, where am I? Um, it was Glossop, so that's my uh, destination now. These guys are getting wet, aren't they? <laughs> Aren't they nice? Hey, can't beat cows. It's raining and he's still happily licking himself. Time of the lives. Hi, we're in the very nice hills of Glossop. Like somebody's been out rolling over there. So I'm back in the yard. Everyone's gone home. Just me. I'll get these dropped off. And they'll have some nice clean straw to lay on and nice air to eat. And we'll have a look at maybe vaccinating them tomorrow. Guys want to come off? Hey? Eh? That's it. Nice and steady. And um, I'll let them into that side and then they can get some hair. That's it. Go on then. Get in there. Come on. That's it, pretties. Come on. Lorry back door mentions without um, without a pen again. It's a happy 11th birthday to Jack Clayter from the Isle of Man, and our very own Flash Ash um, is. I'm not going to tell you his age actually, but um, yeah, it's his birthday today. So happy birthday, Ash! I know he's been with Big Mick um, earlier today doing something about I don't know. Showing him his new gun he's bought, I think, for his birthday. So, happy birthday to those two guys. And um, if anybody else wants to get on the mixer or the lorry, lorry back door, then um, a link is in the description below. Um, the money goes straight to the Yorkshire Air Ambulance Charity. So, um, that is, I think, about it from us tonight. Get this put away. I might wash it out um, and then get home, I think. There's, it's just wet. Horrible, like this is supposed to be summer. What's happening? But um, if you have liked the video, press the like button um, and subscribe if you're not already because um, that really helps us out. And we will see you tomorrow when it's probably going to be wet again. So we're going to be probably fixing stuff, I think. Fixing stuff, vaccinating cows. I think we've got some more cattle coming. So just bits and bobs like that. We really want to be bailing, but you know. That's how it is. That's you just gotta work with the weather, haven't we? Right, I'm off. Bye, thanks for watching.